So what is on a cover besides the text of the title? How about some photos? So next what we're going to do is to add photos to our page. So again, we're going to click the plus button. And there's a few different ways that we can add photos. So I'm going to select import. And the first thing that I want to be able to do is to take a image that I have saved somewhere on my computer and upload it. So you'll notice that when I select this menu that says files, it's going to open directly to this book creator folder where I have this picture. I'm just going to upload that. This is a file that I downloaded from Unsplash and saved to my computer. So I'm able to just upload that directly onto the cover of my book. And again, looking at this, my title looks a little small. Let me just make it a little bit bigger, kind of like that. Now, another thing that you can add, another way that you can add pictures is rather than going through and maybe going on a search engine and downloading folders and downloading picture files and saving them onto your computer inside a folder, you can search directly for images in Book Creator. So if I just go ahead and type dolphin, it's going to return a lot of, you can see here's an example of um, a picture, lots of different options that Book Creator will return. And you don't have to have your students go to different websites. You can just go in and search and find picture files directly in Book Creator. But of course, if you don't want this, this is something you can turn on or off. You saw that at the beginning of the screen. So let me just take this option, this dolphin right over here. I'm going to add this and I will resize this, put this right over here. Now, the one thing I do want to let you know um, is something that's good to be aware of is when you add a picture, let me just take this one. When you add a photo on Book Creator, you, you can resize them, you can make it a little bit smaller, you can take it and kind of change the rotation, put a picture on an angle. The one thing you can't do is crop photos. So if you had a photo that you wanted to crop, you'd probably have to save it on your desktop, crop it in a different program, and then upload it through Book Creator using that import files feature that we talked about. So there's no way to crop a photo when it's on your book. Now, this is not the best cover. Um, if I was, you know, working with students, maybe we'd have a talk about some of those design elements. But I'm just going to leave this the way it is to give you an idea of how some of the other features of Book Creator work.